Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Bitcoin Technical Analysis with Bitcoin Gorilla. Today, I am here to update you based on my prediction that Bitcoin at some point is going to 30k. This prediction I made in November 2021, while Bitcoin was still trading around 68k to 69k range. I said, get ready. Don't get deceived about buying this bitcoin at this range if you are in trade take some profit because there will be a dump that will choke now the point of this choking is that the bounce is going to so, uh, struggle with the bounce that was what i meant by the choke so and unfortunately since that november till now bitcoin has been on the downside and bitcoin is still struggling to hold or get a good bounce so i am here to update you because i also made a video talking about a bounce in between this dump so this video is going to be pure price action i do not use indicators so i developed my own personal strategy called the bitcoin gorilla box strategy which i'll be using in this video and this box strategy i'll be drawing from scratch is pure price action so you will understand if you're new to trading i'll also be explaining the temp so the first thing i want to do in this technical analysis is tell you that it's going to be a higher time frame technical analysis so it's going to be an overview of the monthly chart the weekly chart the daily chart this is going to be what is going to likely play out from this january till three months time what are we expecting bitcoin to do within this period so this is what this video is going to be about but even within that time, I will still constantly come to update you. So if you end up liking my strategy and analysis, give me a thumbs up and subscribe and click the notify, uh, notification bell so that you'll be notified when I post next. I'm constantly coming to update Bitcoin as the move continues. So the first thing I've gotten is my all-time resistance, which is also the all-time supply zone, all-time support all time demand zone now if you don't know what resistance as and support is these are the most important levels on my chart these are demand and supply areas on my chart this if we are talking about resistance we are talking about areas when price is moving up and could not move further up once it gets to that level there is a pause a struggle either the price is able to continue after that struggle or the price cons, cons, uh, totally reverses the movement. A good example of such situation is here. You can see here, there was a struggle, but price continues to move to the upside, but it is not the same thing with here. So let's pick a line and take note of that point, right? This point, it is not the same thing. How? Because after the struggle, you can see it's struggle to continue and there's a complete move to the downside. So we want to take note of all those points. These points are called what? Resistance area. And they are only found when price is moving to the upside. Now, the opposite of such areas is called support. Now, just like the resistance, they are only found when price is moving down, right? And these are a very important areas on your chart. They are known as demand area. These areas are example here when price is moving down this point, when price is moving down this point, when price is moving down this point, when price is moving down this point. Down this point. These areas are areas that either prevent price from further falling or cause a sideways a struggle in the market now in some, some situation there will be a point whereby the pause the, the pullback will just be a pause in the market and the price will likely what continue sometimes you can see the pause after the pause they break the support they break the support you can see right there was a pause here i can also tell you there's a mini interdict support right here so there's a support that they broke so let's go back to that and let me explain that again so there's this support that try to hold them down right here right but you can see after the bounce they came the right the second time they returned to it they broke below it so the support always break and resistance always break knowing these two things you have to take note of this is why i have taken this line so all these lines are representing those areas on my chart but you know um 
just like the definition says support and resistance are interchangeable and they are breakable so as the demand rise resistance break easily and as supply rises supports break easily and because of that this is why i have created my own personal strategy to help me understand this market better avoid losses and understand the buy and the support and resistance area to avoid what is called stop loss hunt to get king situation whereby market kicks you out of trade then reverses and continues the move the same maybe you predicted market is going to go up a good example of such situations is right here the market comes you enter trade you put your stop loss but market then returns and kicks you out but then continues to move to the upside just to avoid such i have developed my strategy called the bitcoin gorilla box strategy so if you are interested in learning this bitcoin gorilla box strategy first of all walk, watch how it works at the end of the video i'm going to show you how you can join me and trade live daily with me and i also give you a training on how it works because it has laws and rules that are help me successfully treat this market called the crypto market with no liquidation no fomo i mind you i'm a high leverage trader i trade one to five x you will know more about me at the end of this video so let's go further and finish this analysis so the first thing i want to do is get my most important area which is the supply area the all-time supply area in this box is exactly this point and and i can tell you the all-time resist and uh, support area there's the all-time demand area is this point so taking note of this very important two areas mind you mind you this is this analysis is being done on the weekly chart so i can tell you that there's also a drama that is occurring within this range i will explain why this range seems to be important in the entire chart you can see what is happening right here you can see the way this price has struggled to break down between this point every time it gets to this point there's this drama so i'm taking note of that and i'm taking note of it with my box that's why i've brought this box so my box strategy law says i need the support and resistance of that area and, and that is exactly what i'm going to get and this is the entire supply the most important area in that range is the supply area that is right there and i'm also going to get the demand area of that same box right so now in this particular entire chart i am having two boxes two very important boxes of which each of them has a su supply demand area right so the first box i got is this box now see this as the weekly box right and this is the demand area of that box and this is the supply range of that box now see these inner ones at the daily chart box right so this is the daily chart box and this is the demand area and this is the supply area take note of that so after taking note of this i am going to go ahead and bring in my trend lines right so let's see what the trend line can give us what um price action patterns we can see forming inside the box so we're going to bring in the price action patterns and see what this is leading us now whatever we're doing we need a minimum of two touches right so i'm going to bring my first um line and this is my first line this is my first line and I need a minimum of two touches. Like I said, I have one and I have two, right? So the next thing I'm going to buy, this is the buyers. So what about the sellers? I'm going to put the sellers into consideration, right? So let's close this so that we can have a better view of the chart. So I need these sellers, right? So I'm going to get the sellers line. Now I'm going to need a minimum of two touches. So I can see that, hold on. okay so i can see that um i need two touches right like i said i need two touches so i have one right here one right here and i can stretch this i can see this is this is looking like the pattern they call the expanding channel right in price action there's something they call a channel and this is an expanding channel so i can see that one and there's two and there's three so there's obviously three touches from the seller's aspect and two touches from the buyer's aspect and we see price now is currently trading at the middle of the channel so if i pick the channel and i try to get the middle of the channel it is somewhere around here i can tell you the channel middle is somewhere around here so i i get that right so with this little um let me show you why I say the channel middle is. I can show you the reaction. The middle has been given since price has been trading around it. 
So the reaction you're seeing is there's one here, there's another closed one here. No, hold on. There's a closed one here, there's one here, there's one here, there's one here, and we just broke the channel. So we've broken below the middle of the channel. So taking note of this, um, what I just showed you now, I'm going to go ahead and let's look at the candlestick i'm going to start with the monthly chart now there's a very important pattern on the monthly chart that i don't want us to ignore and is a three bar reversal this important pattern this important pattern let me zoom in so you're going to see the candle very clear this important pattern is a three bar reversal and let me show you something this is what the three bar reversal pattern that i'm seeing right now this this pattern is a bearish pattern is a bearish signal is a bearish sign that something down is going to push further down so how is this going to play out on bitcoin let's find out so looking at the current pattern this is monthly chart that is why i said we're going to have a very big overview of monthly chart and you can see that the previous time there is also another three bar reversal three bar bearish pattern are following each other showing a strong sign of rejection on the monthly chart now here is what i see this is what is going to force the move down to this point which is the month and uh, the weekly and uh, the daily chart support area. Remember, we are yet to touch the daily chart support area. This is the weekly and the monthly chart main support area. So this push is going to likely get to 30K. That is my call of 30K, right? But the journey is not going to be a straight fall. It's not been an easy one because we've never seen, we have not seen any good uh, move to the upside since this, um, uh, journey to the downside started but having this three pattern here is now what i am saying let's go back now this is what the monthly chart monthly chart is very bearish right now and monthly chart is the one pointing us to 30k but before that remember monthly chart take a year to play out monthly chart take a year to play out so 2022 it's not going to be smooth for bitcoin but we are going to get bounces in between so that is why i am here to update you because i said if you're caught in the trade don't be scared yet you're going to get a bounce to have a better exit so here is why i said we have a better exit so currently on the weekly chart um i think the better this thing is on the daily chart we are on sort of a mini support a mini support that could lead us to get a bounce right so let's let me let me zoom in so let me show you what i'm saying so if i come back to the daily chart i will tell you that there is a daily uh trend line that has been developing and i can draw that daily trend line for you so see it is right here so for this sake of this explanation i'm going to take away the middle of the inside of our channel i'm going to take that line away not to confuse us so this is the daily channel right so this daily channel this daily um pattern that is developing currently has already have one two touches and three though it pierced through it it has come back to the support now the piercing through it led to a formation of what i'm saying that they call the double bottom in price action there is a double bottom currently forming this is one and this is two so let me let me zoom in this double bottom is what we just bitcoin just fell into and that is what had gave that push to the upside so this double bottom if they continue to hold it up which is bringing them above this my horizontal line and above this trend line which means there's a meeting point at this point that there's chances that a demand could rise them and take them back to 42k because once they get into 42k remember the previous resistance is now support and the previous support is now resistance this point when they were returning tried to work as support but did not the demand was too small the demand could not hold them and they broke above below it you can see they went down below it returned above it tried to stay above it but failed so they returned below it now returning below it they met a demand because there's a previous mini intraday support here which had acted as a double bottom now if this double bottom pattern like i said is going to play out now this is what is the bounce is going to look like the bounce is going to move like this get to 42k now when you get to 4 this is not going to be a smooth ride 
this is going to need a lot of patience. I've been saying this. This is going to need a lot of patience. There will be a struggle. You can see why? The struggle in the past here. The struggle in the past here. There will be a struggle. So they will struggle, but they will still make their way to 42K. Now, getting to 42K, they will get a reaction that could put them down, right? This reaction, I, they, they could take them all the way to 44K or um, um, where they are. I said 42K. I'm talking about 48k they could get to 48k that could push them down to 44k to 42k again and then they will ride back again to 52k once they get to 50 52k there will be another reaction that could push them down again remember that you can see the previous movement this move could bring them down again and they could touch that 46k but their main target and their main goal is that they are likely going to return to 64k this will be after they conquer 58k right after they conquer 58k they will make it to 64k now on that 64k we now form another pattern another pattern this pattern is a very bearish pattern that will confirm this is daily chart confirming the pattern on the monthly chart that we saw the bearish three part three bar reversal we form an if head and shoulder this is a shoulder already formed this is a head and this is another shoulder leading to 64k will likely cause a rejection down and this will be the rejection that will take these sellers and bring them down to that 36k 36k and probably to a um 30k range that is the scenario i see playing out right now this is the first bullish scenario so but hello i said we saw an expanding channel right which is this channel this buyers if they get stubborn if they really get stubborn they could clear, clear all the sellers here sellers here and attempt 84k but to be honest with you that chances is slim is slim why because of that monthly pure three bar reversal pattern printing twice twice the first one clear three bar reversal the second one another clear three inside down three bar reversal likely the chances are high we're going to see that 30k that i've predicted right so at worst case scenario let's say because here's another thing if we are to consider the box strategy for me where bitcoin is is telling me that hey it's a no man's line because the main support is here and there is still a chance that we are going to have that push down. So if they don't, they could reject them right here. But I really want a bounce. So I am really staying with the positive aspect and putting my mind on the positive aspect. But I will warn you, if you are entering a buy on Bitcoin, please use a stop loss and place it just around this 38K. Anything that goes below 38K is going to see 34K to what? 34k to 36k range so it's good for you to if you're entering at this point use stop loss but if you want to learn this strategy with me like i said i'm a high leverage trader i trade one to five x if you want to learn please don't trade it on your own if you don't know i have laws that strict laws that i trade me and this entire machiavelli traders trade together we are high leverage trader this trade are taking life with the entire machiavelli traders family so this is a general result that everybody also partake of it's not just me i share my entries i share my stop loss i share the exit now once you come into macaveri trader the goal is to help you further your career in crypto is a one-time payment for a lifetime assets you're going to get three months intensive training you're going to get materials like videos pdf videos that comes with pdfs now you're going to get um technical analysis on the go market insight on any coin of your choice on the go in the family because we share our trade we give you insight we give you uh, trading psychology we tell you why we are exiting a trade so you exit you will know the warnings you get the warnings before it happened i want about 68k in fact if you go read my analysis i talked about 68 uh, 8k even why we were still down if you follow my analysis you can go to trading view and check me out my page is machiavelli traders just go and check it out if you are interested in joining machiavelli traders access is currently open i have limited membership right access is limited 12 days to the closing of access classes start on the 24th and registration is closing on 27th once access is closed i only accept membership and access into Machiavelli traders three times a year, January, 
May and October. So once January close, see you until May again before we open the access. Mind you, three months intensive training. If you want to learn more about Machiavelli traders, I'm going to leave the link to the website on.